So we're going to stick with the theme of doing the simplest thing we can to ensure that our ends to end in terms of our walking skeleton is working successfully. Now again, this isn't going to be incredibly exciting what we're building here initially, but it will prove that we can connect our React application when, when we have it all the way through to our API and then down to the database level and extract some values from our database and then display them in our React application. So let's go ahead and do this. And inside our VS Code and inside our domain projects we want to do this, we'll create our first entity. Now what we have here is a class called class1.cs. So let's rename this and what we'll do is we'll call this value. And we'll change the name of the class as well to value. And this incredibly simple entity is going to have two properties. The first one is going to be an integer and it's going to be called ID. And the second one is going to be a string and this is going to be called name. Now these are what are referred to as auto implemented properties. And it's just simply a concise way of declaring a property when no additional logic is required in the property accesses, the getter and the setter. We just want to make these properties available so they can be getted and setted. And that's what we're doing here. Now we're using Entity Framework and Entity Framework is convention based. And when we give a property inside one of our entities a name of ID, then this is automatically going to be used as the primary key. And because it's an integer, and if the database technology we're using supports auto-generated properties or numbers, then this will automatically configure our database when we create it to use an auto-generated number. And the way that we're creating our database using Entity Framework is referred to as code first. We create the code and then based on our code, we generate the script that then creates our database. And what we need to do next to achieve that is we need to create a class that derives from a DB context class that we get from Entity Framework. And we'll take a look at setting that up next.